All right, my friends, so here we are in lesson two, part five, and it's time for the challenge. And the challenge, as you can see here in the application and in the lesson, is to program the driving bass to be faster or louder as it gets closer to the cuboid. So there's a lot of ways to do this. And if you are stuck, I'm gonna present one way that I went about doing this code to solve this challenge. But please keep in mind, there are many ways. There's lots of cool ways to go about doing this. You could even add some details on the LED screen as well. I mean, you make different noises and sound effects and different beeps, and you could do a combo where it's beeping faster and louder. Um, so in this case, the code that I'm writing is going to increase the volume by 20% the closer it gets to the cuboid, and it's going to change the tone of the beep by 10. So we'll hear a, a, a change in the tone as it continues to get closer. Because I find that the volume can sometimes be hard to tell the difference, um, at least for me, but I don't have the best of hearing either. You can just ask my wife. Um, but let's go ahead and dive into this example code, and then we can rock and roll from there to see your work and your examples to make this work. So we are going to start here with a control block. And we're going to use one of these when the button is pressed. And I'm just going to default it to right tends to be my standard operation here when I write this program or any program that I want to trigger um, by a button press. And then I go here to movement and I need to make sure that all the code blocks are being displayed. So there we go, you get those expanded. And I'm gonna set the movement speed first. And I'm gonna do this right here by dragging this block over and I'm gonna make it nice and slow at 20%. And then I'm gonna start moving and I'm gonna just move straight. And so you could adjust the speed if you want your robot to go slower or faster. I like to go slower so I can hear the distinguished sounds and beeps to make sure that it's actually triggering the way it's supposed to. I'm then going to go in here and I'm gonna add a repeat until block. And I'm gonna drag this over right here. And what I wanna do is I want this repeat thing to keep going until or distance reaches a certain threshold. So I'm going to bring in an operator here, and this operator is going to be a less than sign. I'll stick that right there. And what I'm going to do then is add a ultrasonic sensor block here, which is right here. And my ultrasonic sensor is already plugged into port four, and we need the one that is going to be round here. So I'm going to drag that up into this little circular in our operator block, and we need to make sure that it's less than 5 centimeters. So this repeat block is going to keep looping until we see a distance of less than 5 centimeters. Now, what I want to do next is bring over a if block. And I'm going to write this one way, I'm going to do it again another way, and then we'll be able to kind of just keep duplicating this process. So what I want to put in this first one is I'm going to categorize the distance in measurements of 5 centimeters. And so the first one we want to do is just anything greater than, in this case, I'm just going to pick 20. So if our ultrasonic sensor all right, is greater than all right, 20, we're going to set a volume to 20% to start, just like we have here at the very beginning, uh, like our with our movement speed. But we're going to set the sound to 20%, and we're going to play a beep of 60 for 0.2 seconds. Now, every time we're moving and it's greater than 20 centimeters, it's going to continue to play this beep over and over again. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm just going to duplicate this. I'm going to have to modify it here in just a minute, but at least that block's done. And I'm going to put this in this repeat. So it's going to repeat as long as we're not less than 5 centimeters. It's going to run through these series of if statements to figure out where to place the beep and the noise. So here we are. What happens when we reach our first 
segment of distance that is less than 20. If we just pick less than 20, we're only going to have two beeps. And I want to have a series of beeps with this. So I'm actually going to pull this one out here just a second. We can still use this if-then block and these beeps here as well. But we need to bring an operator over. And for this time, we're going to use the and. So we need two things to happen for this section of code to trigger. So what we're going to need here, and I'm going to duplicate this. We have two of these. All right, I'm going to drag those in. Okay, so now let's write it this way. If the distance sensor is less than 20 centimeters and greater than 15, so now anything 16, 17, 18, 19, it's going to then go to the next wave. So I'm going to increase the volume by 40%. I'm going to play beep 70 for this. And I'm just going to duplicate this again. I can drag this guy in here. I'll slide this over to get him out of the way. And I'm going to just repeat the process, but now I'm just changing my numbers. So now we're going to go here. We're going to make this 15. We're going to make this 10. We're going to make this increase by 20 to 60%, and we're going to make the beep an 80. And then we're going to duplicate this because we're going to need it again. So I'm going to go ahead and add this one back in here now. And you can see what we're doing is we're just making a bunch of if statements. Whichever one is triggered, is it will do what is in that threshold. So now we've got 20 to 15, 15 to 10. We need a 10 to 15. Five, and that's going to be 80, and we're going to make this a B of 90, and we'll do one, oh, that should be good, I think that'll be good, there we go, because once we get to five, we're going to be stopping, right, so we're going to do that, let's just see what we've got here, we've got 20, 40, 60, let's see, we got our greater than 20, we got our 20 to 15, we've got our 15 to 10, and we've got our 10 to 5, and then after that, we should then have a trigger here, right? So we want to be able to stop moving. So what we actually need here is I'm going to pull this one out real quick because we're going to need this one. I'm going to duplicate this. All right, let's stack this back together. Let's stack this here. And I'm going to drag this down. So here we want this to be less than six centimeters. We're going to go to 100, and we're going to play beep 100, and then we're going to stop moving. So you can see here what we've got. This is greater than 5, so that's going to be 6, 7, 8, or 9. And then here, anything less than, so that's going to be 5, which that would also kick out of this loop. So I can put the stop moving block down here as well. So now we have this code that's going to have our robot beep at different interviews, greater than 20, between 16 and 19, between 11 and 14, 6, 9, 5 and below. And when we get to that point, we're going to go ahead and stop moving. So let's go ahead and see this robot in action. All right, so here's a demo of the program of the uh, robot here when I press the right button and the cuboid and it should, you should hear the volume increase, the tone change, and then stop when it gets to five centimeters in distance. Here we go. And there you have it. I'll try it one more time here so you can kind of hear it and see it again. All right, my friends, so there you have it. 
one example. I look forward to seeing you and your work and your code and your creativity. What are different ways we can solve this challenge? Go ahead and in the Slack channel, share your pictures, your video of your code and your robot being successful. I can't wait to see it. Can't wait to learn from you. And when you're all ready, we're going to move into the final phase of this lesson, which is some reflection and application of the learning. All right, my friends, as always, stay awesome. Peace. I'm <laughs> not